Yo, what's up? This is Ricky Royal, America's elite attraction coach. Been up since 5 a.m. I hope you're having a great morning as well. I, myself, have been working on my purpose to get you guys the most elite results in your dating life, to have a attractive lifestyle. And that's what I've been doing. And then later tonight, I will enjoy my attractive lifestyle by going out and partying. Uh, we've had a lot of questions. I've gotten a lot of questions on Ricky, what are your favorite books? What are your book recommendations? Man, I drank a lot of coffee this morning. So I made a quick list off the top of my head and here they are. Uh, number one, The Way of the Superior Man. If you read my post, read that book. That's a pillar to the growth of you as a man. A lot of guys, like when I first read The Way of the Superior Man, I was like, yeah, this is amazing. And then I kept asking other guys that wanted to work on their dating life and whatnot. They're like, oh yeah, I haven't read that yet. And I'm like, dude, read this fucking book. Like, I don't think guys realize that just because a book is $15, they don't think it can't change their life. Like, that book will literally change your life and help you become a more badass motherfucker. Uh, number two is Psycho Cybernetics. This was a big life-changing one that I read last year um, for my 80 books a year. I try to read 80 books a year because I heard a fun fact that actually millionaires read a lot of books. About 80 books. About the average millionaire I think reads about 80 books a year, give or take, depending on the millionaire, right? So this is actually, this year's my second round um, reading 80 books. I did 80 last year, 50 the year before, 30, and like 10, like four years ago. But uh, Psycho Cybernetics I read last year and it was fucking amazing. It'll really help you with your insecurities and um, kind of just any bad mindsets you have that are holding you back. You know, sometimes our, our self-talk is the worst. Like, we are, we are our own worst cheerleaders, you know, and we don't root for ourselves, and we don't realize that we can achieve greatness. So that book really helps you. Um, number three is Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion, which is probably one of the best books on influence. And game, all it is is influence. If you are a good persuader, you can get whatever you want in life, including the best dating life. And a lot of people think persuasion and influence is evil or manipulative. It actually really isn't. You know, whatever you do in life, someone's either persuading you or you're persuading someone. Like even to be like, hey, let's go to the coffee shop. And your friend's like, okay, let's go. You actually persuaded them to go to the coffee shop. So it doesn't necessarily have to be evil. But that book breaks down the key triggers that cause you to be influential. Um, the other books I like, I wrote down a quick list. The Rational Male by Rollo Tomasi really breaks down the dating field. It's very like pro-man, um, so I don't agree with everything he says 100%, but there are some things in there that will kind of blow your mind and kind of almost make you a little bit disgusted about the, how dating dynamics work, but as a high caliber motherfucker, you know, we learn to accept harsh, harsh truths and work with them, you know, to get the dating lives we want. Um, another one is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle is the best on helping you become present to the moment. You know, for me, I'm really fast. I'm almost like, probably have some type of... Ah, the video cut out right there. So what I was saying about Eckhart Tolle and The Power of Now is, you know, with my thoughts, my thoughts are always really fast. You know, you know how I talk is really fast. So Eckhart Tolle, his books, The Power of Now, taught me how to be present to the moment, how to get over insecurities as well how to be with a person, you know, like good eye contact. If you're in your head, it's hard for you to have good eye contact. You'll see, you'll look at someone and their eyes will be shifting back and forth. They'll be like, oh yeah, because they're, they're not being present. But if you're present, you have a more relaxed vibe around you. You know, you're not as nervous, you're not as anxious, your energy isn't going all over the place. So when you talk, it's calm, it's direct, it has all those masculine, attractive qualities that women like. So that book really helped me with that. And his other book, A New Earth, was another phenomenal book that kind of helped me with the ego, like some of the um, traps or like uh, just mindsets that the ego will kind of trap you in that actually work against you. Um, Emotions by Osho. Anything by Osho, I love. He's, uh, his book, Emotions, he breaks down like uh, jealousy. You know, if you're dating multiple women or an open relationship, he goes into that. 
Um, it talks about sadness, anger, you know, like why do we have those emotions and what should we do about them? You know, like should we just bury them and, and not pay attention? Should we just never act sad or should we act upon it? You know, his book goes into like how to handle your emotions. And the more stronger you become or um, skillful you become at managing your own emotions, the more non-needy you become and actually you become a better person to be around. You know, you can handle tough situations. You can handle things that normal people can't because you know how to handle your emotions when it gets too intense. So even with dating, like if you're dating a girl and it's getting too intense at a certain point, you know how to direct it and be a good leader because you have your emotions under control. Uh, another one is The 50th Law by Robert Greene. And the, all these are books that I recommend when I start working with a client to start reading these books because they have great truths in them that will help you when you're becoming better with women and working on your game and becoming a more attractive, high caliber badass. But The 50th Law by Robert Greene and 50 Cent was one of my favorite books that, it again, it was like a paradigm shift for me um, where it taught me about boldness, you know, and it talks about 50 Cent, you know, how he had to be bold to get to where he was. Like, the dude was fucking shot nine times, but instead of giving up on his rap career, he fucking went through and became one of the most famous rappers we know today. And um, there's one of my favorite quotes from that book is something to the extent of your fears um, limit your behavior. They're like a prison for your behavior when you're afraid of stuff. So when you push through that fear, it actually opens you up to a higher level of behaviors. You can do more. So a lot of times when we try to teach guys success with women, you know, we'll teach them to say something flirty or do something physical, and he's like, oh, I can never do that, right? Well, why is that? At a certain level, he thinks it's his character. He's like, that's just not me. I'm, not just, I'm just not that type of guy. That's, that's what a douchebag does or something like that, when really he's missing the point. Like when you're not afraid, when you can freely express yourself, that's when like the charisma shines through. So that book really helps and it's a good teaching tool for guys to break out of their comfort zone and actually, you know, fully express themselves, like fully express their sexuality, not try to hide it and be ashamed of it. Um, and then the last book I have on my li list is The Warrior Ethos by Stephen Pressfield. And this was a mind shift I had, you know, part of being a badass, I was like, how do I become more of a badass? I was in a part of my life where you know, things were just slipping away. The girls I was dating, my business, everything was just really intense right then and I didn't know how to pull myself out of it. And I was like, I need to become more of a badass. I was like, well, who are the biggest badasses in the world? I was like, well, fucking warriors, like Spartan warriors were the biggest badasses. So I was like, how do I become like them? Because anything one guy can do, another guy can learn how to do. So I found this book, The Warrior Ethos, and it just talks about the mindsets, like the mindsets of toughening up. And I think there was a quote in that book it talks about Alexander the Great, it talks about the Spartan Warriors, it talks about the joy of misery, it's one of my favorite chapters, and it goes into how, it's like the Marines, they get, go into um, how they have like shittier food than the rest of the army, they have shittier tools, everything about them is shittier, but what makes them so awesome is they're able to be really resourceful. They pride themselves on taking the hardest missions and going through bullshit because they know that they're strong enough to go through it. They pride themselves on stepping up and they take challenges, they take pain and actually use it as something to make them tougher and better and stronger. So that book really taught me about that. And I think the quote was, if I remember cor correctly, if you always do what's easy, life will always be hard. But if you do what's hard, life will always be easy. So those were just some, those were all these books were big uh, mindset and paradigm shifts that helped me, you know, become the attraction coach I am today. So check those books out, and if you have any uh, recommendations, like what is your favorite book? What was the biggest, what was the book that had the most influence in your life? Uh, comment down below and let me know. And then also, if you haven't heard about the Cool Guy Method and the training that's starting June 1st, if you haven't, if you're not a part of the Project Attraction Dating Syndicate and you don't know what all the guys are talking about in there, about how the Cool Guy Method that starts June 1st is starting up and it's going to be fucking amazing again it's going to be a paradigm shift for those who sign up to get the attractive lifestyle full of women chasing you you're not chasing them they're chasing you find out more about it go to the project attraction dating syndicate on facebook join the group find out more about the cool guy method uh how should i finish that sentence find out more sign up peace